Morning. Do you remember this? Still ice. So if you remember this unit from this video right here, we were between either swapping out just the heat exchanger or replacing the unit. Well, they decided to replace the heat exchanger. So Saturday, me and another guy came and swapped it out. It took about mm, three hours. Uh, due to time constraints though, I didn't have time to film it. I think I got a little bit of footage though I could show you. But either way, when we got it installed and tried to turn it on, a couple problems with the inducer, it wasn't firing right away, so couldn't finish it on Saturday. Got the new inducer motor, we're here to install it and really go through and troubleshoot, see what's going on with it. Probably don't want to break that. one in the back because I can't get it and that one on top I can't get either you know what this calls for nah I'm just kidding the threads are a little too long Maybe kind of leave it like that. We'll see. Caught it. Got it! And now for this one. I think once I loosen it, I could get it off my hand. Or just... Wires are connected, gas is on, and power is on. Inducer is running. And we're not... Huh. Why are we not sparking? So I've got power across the transformer, but not to my thermostat. 
but my inducer is running. Tell me we got a bad control board. I'm just saying it's an option. Uh, we got power leaving down this red wire to... Oh, I know where it goes. I gotta take the top off. There you are. Let's do this instead. Good work like gentlemen. So I think when we uh, put the new heat exchanger in, this looks like it broke. This is what we call in the industry, temporary permanent. button everything up really quick. As of right now, the smoke is a little concerning, but it's probably just the oils in the, uh, the heat exchanger. I'll turn the inducer on and let it kind of blow itself out. All right, been running for about 10 minutes now. Everything looks great. I went downstairs. There's that typical smell that you get when either you put a new unit or you replace the heat exchanger. So just needs time to air out. But as far as this unit goes, we are bueno. Not a bad job to start off the morning. Never done a heat exchanger before, so worked out great. Where I'm going next, as usual, no idea. Just pulled up to the next stop. Didn't want to jinx it in case I got pulled off, but this is the building I was talking about that has the, uh, the giant chiller in the basement. Well, it's not really a giant chiller. I'm sure some of you guys have seen bigger, but big to me. You see this? Just looks like a regular cast iron pipe, right? We'll see when we go inside. That one, that one, that one this one's dead? Oh my god. Yes! You guys might know better, but these are relief valves, right? They go up. In case there's a leak, right? It gets vented outside and not into the uh, the boiler room. So this is what we have to do to run the unit. Kind of 
kind of just an on-off switch. It's a big air handler. Okay. Huh. Nice cover. So this is... Hmm. Probably gonna have to put two of the 8000 series Honeywell thermostats and some wireless sensors. I just hope it makes it through the cinder block. Pretty cool. Not for me. I wouldn't even know where to start working on that trailer. I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm not pretending like I know. All I know is I just got the Johnstone. Now I'm totally going to tell you I measured the voltage before I left. Getting a little late. I think we're only going to have time for one today. Just made the door. I was all ready to do it, but the super's like, nope, we're going home early today. So, got out of that one. It's also four o'clock. I guess this is where we end it. Until next time.